November 12th, A Valentinian Myth of Creation Within invisible and unnameable heights, there was, they say, a pre-existent, perfect entity. This they call the prior source, ancestor, and the deep. And it existed uncontained, invisible, everlasting, and unengendered. Within infinite eternal realms, it was in great stillness and rest. And within it coexisted thought, which they also call loveliness and silence. And eventually the aforementioned deep took thought to emit a source of the entirety. And it deposited this emanation that it had thought to emit, like sperm, in the womb of silence that coexisted with it. And the latter received this sperm, conceived, and brought forth intellect, which was like and equal to the emitter, and was the only being that comprehended the magnitude of its parent. And this intellect they call also only begotten, parent, and source of the entirety. And truth was emitted along with it. And this is equivalent to the first primal tetractus of Pythagorean philosophy. They call it also the root of entirety, for it consists of the deep, silence, and then intellect, truth. Now, when this only begotten perceived the ends for which it had been emitted, it emitted the word and life, apparent of the entirety of beings that were to exist after it, and a source and forming of the entire fullness. And from the word and life emanated the human being and the church as a pair. And these constitute the primal octet, a root and source of the entirety. It is designated by them with four names, the deep, intellect, the word, human being. For each of them is androgynous, as follows. First, the ancestor united with its thought, called also loveliness and silence, forming a pair. The only begotten, i.e. intellect, united with truth. The word united with life. The human being united with the church. Valentinus was a very prominent early Christian. I think he was a bishop or something like that from Alexandria. And he went to Rome thinking that he was going to climb through the ranks, but they didn't like what he had to say. And so he kind of broke off. And that's why they call themselves Valentinians, because they're the people who followed Valentinus as a teacher. But apparently he was like a genius. Yeah, interesting character in history. So Irenaeus, who apparently wrote this creation myth, was a follower of Valentinus. And it's from the second century, so pretty early. Anyway, not going to be for everybody, but that's November 12th.